Sam, I'll answer your question because this one comes up a lot. I've seen on the Upwork community that a lot of clients don't like agencies. And how can I be successful as an agency? <clears throat> That's just simply not true. Uh, Upwork is the largest freelance marketplace in the world. It's huge. So there are all types of clients out there. There are clients that want to work with a really affordable freelancer for a super tiny project, all the way to full enterprise entities like Dropbox and uh, you know big, huge corporations that want to hire out entire teams out of Upwork. So there is every single thing in there. And again, this really comes down to that niche of finding out what type of work you want to do and positioning yourself well for that type of work. And those clients are out there. Um, Upwork does a lot of effort on the client side of things that we as freelancers don't always see, um, but they're out there working with clients, trying to figure out what they want, trying to provide the features they need, and then also making sure that they have that freelance talent to match. So we wouldn't have a webinar like this about creating a, an agency if there wasn't the demand for it on the client side, because that doesn't really help anyone. It doesn't help Upwork to help create agencies if there's not the demand for it. So. Um, it's definitely there. And it's really all about creating a strong agency and presenting yourself well. Peter, good question. Uh, can I add employees outside Upwork? If so, how can I show them in my agency profile? So that is actually a question of adding an exclusive freelancer. So they do need to create an Upwork profile and then you can add them to their agency. Um, in the past, I have heard of situations where um, an agency owner has a hard time getting their um, exclusive agency freelancers profile approved say because it's an impacted skill set or something like that. Um, in that instance, if you were trying to add a freelancer as an exclusive for your agency, you can communicate with customer support on that one. Send them a message, say, this is my agency, here's my profile, I'm trying to add an exclusive member, here's their name, um, and they can help you get that person approved and added to your agency. Um, so good one. If you have an agency owner, can I still submit proposals and work as an independent freelancer? The answer is yes, you can. Mariel, when you create an agency, are there any free connects? Not anymore. Um, that was part of the big connects change that happened kind of June and earlier this month. Um, all connects are 15 cents now for agencies and individual freelancers. And I can actually tell you the reasoning behind that um, is that Upwork is trying really hard to make sure that it's always quality proposals that get into each project. So what they're trying to weed out is people who were spamming, essentially, just putting out a bunch of proposals for, for projects they sort of were qualified for, um, just in a hope that it, that it was a numbers game, that if they put out more proposals, they'd get more work. Um, so by charging a really nominal amount for the connects and to put out proposals, they're hoping that that will change user behavior um, and that only people who are really interested in that project and really well suited to it um, will apply for that project. So it has two benefits, um, one on the client side that they will have less um, generic proposals to sort through, 
And then on the freelancer side, the hope is that it will be a true competition between the people that are really interested in and qualified for that project, um, rather than having to kind of sort through a whole bunch of cut and paste lame proposals um, that somebody put out just because they had a whole bunch of free connects. So that's the answer there. Hmm. Good question, Krishna. If I'm successful as a freelancer and I start an agency and it doesn't work as intended, can I cancel an agency and go back to your freelancer status? Yes, because you maintain both of those. So um, like you saw in one of the slides, you can toggle back and forth between an individual freelancer and an agency freelancer. So that individual profile remains and stays. And so um, if you cancel your agency, you will still have your ind individual status. Um, what I'm not 100% sure on is what it would do to your job success score. You might revert to the job success score you had as an individual because you will have had some agency projects that were figuring into it. Um, but your job success score is recalculated regularly. So any ding or thing that might happen with your job success score would quickly recover if you're continuing to work as an individual freelancer. Jocelyn, can you hire family members in your agency? Sure, as long as you're following all the rules and they've got their own individual profile and you're paying them individually outside of Upwork and you know you communicate really well so you don't end up with some family, family disputes, um, there's nothing that violates the Upwork terms of service about hiring your family. Uh, are there any specific number of profiles required to start an agency? No, you can start an agency as an individual. Um, I'm not really sure why you would, um, but yeah, you can do it as, a, as an individual. And Jason, yes, this webinar is being recorded and, and you will get a copy of it. Uh, there's an interesting question here about what sort of agencies are most um, in demand these days. Uh, I can't answer that off the top of my head, but I know that information is available either in the blog or in the hiring headquarters. So if you do a little research, you can find the answer to that. Um, Upwork usually posts a quarterly most in demand skill set um, with a list like the top 10 or 15 skills that are most searched for on Upwork. So if you're willing to do the research, you can find out which are most um, needed, but also you want to make sure you're starting an agency that really fits your skill set, um, not just one that you think is in demand. Ah, Simone, or Simon, maybe. Uh, main advantage of appearing as an agency, um, and why would you not just work as an individual and sub out the work? Um, the answer is you could, but as an agency, you have so many more tools to help manage the work, and then you have a profile to help showcase how complex of projects that you can handle. Um, so, you know, maybe if you're an agency of two or three people, you could get away with an individual profile and it, it'd be able to do the same kind of work. Um, but if you get into really bigger, larger, complex projects, especially if you're getting into ones um, that are, are larger in dollar amounts, um, being able to show that, you, you know, you have a team and show those profiles and being able to, um, you know, show your different skill sets, all of those things are really going to help you attract those bigger um, projects. 
And uh, remember again that you know there are clients out there that are searching for freelancers and agencies um, that you don't know about. Their, their project is private. So there may be people out there that are actually looking for an agency um, and that would pass you by because all they see is an individual freelancer account. So it's just another one of the things to take into um, consideration about starting an agency. When I create an agency, does my success rate and earnings pass to that agency? Um, I believe that answer is no. You have to build up your job success score um, and your earnings and everything for the agency projects themselves. So when you buy that uh, or upgrade to that Agency Plus membership, you do have the option to hide your earnings. So you can just, you know, the client won't know whether you've earned any or not. Um, but you do have to work up to that success score and earn your talent badges and, and all those sorts of things. So it is like building a business um, in a lot of ways. Here's a good question. Does an agency require a registered company? I can't answer that for you. Uh, that falls under the category of you need to look at the rules and regulations in your city and your country um, for being a business owner and for paying employees or subcontractors. So that information is not something that Upwork provides simply because it is different depending on where you're located. And so that's something that you need to find out for yourself as a business owner. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of repeat questions in here that it, we've answered. So that's a good thing. That means we covered a lot of good information in this time. And we have reached the end of our hour. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this webinar here. But again, just to reiterate, this webinar was being recorded and you will be provided a recording of it just in case your audio cut out or you had to take a call or you missed something, um, you can go back and take a look at this webinar. And again, help and support is your friend. There is a ton of information, especially for specific questions. Uh, you can also always send a message or talk to the chat bot um, for specific questions about your agency or your status. Um, and also always remember to check out the footer of Upwork for that hiring headquarters, community, and blog. There's lots of information and tips and help there. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to learn more about Upwork agencies and what they have to offer. And from San Diego, California, I'm signing off and I wish you all a good rest of your day, whatever time it is for you. All right, thank you so much guys, bye.